what are we doing today? Well, we're listening to the bird calls from a start. First real decent fog of the winter and the, uh, or of autumn, the carawongs have come out of the mountains. Anyway, we're looking at vehicles and this is in the Argo series. Now there's no footage of the Argo today at least, although I don't know how long this video is going to take. Then my trailer might be done by the time we get round to actually putting this on YouTube. But anyway, we're going to do something about this hitch. Now, I have a swiveling hitch. Now that's a bit uncommon, but uh, it's a pretty unique thing to these military vehicles. Um, that's a perfectly normal thing, and it's perfectly fine with a trailer I have, which has a locked lunette ring that doesn't spin. Now, uh, in that combination, that's fine, but I have a trailer coming that has a swiveling lunette ring, and we're going to be putting a pintle ball hitch on the back of this thing that doesn't swivel. So, uh, I've actually ordered a pintle ball for this, which is a combination pintle hitch with a tow ball on it, so you can do both in the one hitch. Problem is, I'm told somewhere along the lines, having both the lunette ring and the hitch spinning is a bad idea. I know for, from a standpoint of breaking my ankle, that's a bad thing. Um, I'm sure it's got some effect on the towing capacity, but I'm not entirely sure what that is um, or how it affects the stability, but I can envisage how it could be a problem. So, before we pull this off, we need to find out if we can make that ring spin. So, I'm going to get the rattle gun and pull that hitch off and have a look inside. I have done that once before, but that was mostly just to put a bit of grease in there to lubricate things up a bit. Uh, because it had a grease nipple and the nipple was blocked. So, and my junk pile's gone, mostly. So yeah, anyway, let's get the rattle gun out. Take a bit to take off. Alright, now we're not asking, we're telling. If I have to get the cheetah tube on this, then we're going to be really unhappy. Now, I busted the um, support leg on this the other day. I bent it trying to drag it out of a mud hole. So I've got a jerry can holding it up at the moment, whilst the new one gets fixed or gets manufactured. These are rusty nylocks, so I might need to get some new nuts for these. Alright, now let's get the rattle gun. Alright, and all the adapters. Oh, come on. So it doesn't quite fit on. Now we've got a nut stuck in the end. It's going to be a long day, I think. Uh. Right, there's one. Alright, back in a minute. A little bit of water in there since I last saw it. But... Alright, let's take this into the workshop. Right, well this thing weighs nearly 10 kilos. It is a solid hunk of steel. Let's plonk this in here for the moment. Keep things steady. Right, let's have a look at what's going on in here. Alright, now, apparently I've been told there's some way of flipping a washer around here to make this work. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of looking. I think I did replace this circlip last time I looked at this when I lubed everything. But yeah, um, there's a bit of junk in there that's probably 
dry grease. So yeah, we still need to modify this. It does move if you see in here. So this little piece here might be all it just needs to get ground off. I might be able to take that down to the engineering works and get them to uh, modify that for me. But I'll do a little bit of thinking first about what exactly that means. And then, um, yeah, we might be able to convert this to swivel. Anyway, let's have a bit of think. Alright, so I've thrown it in the back of the Rover. I'm going to go see my local engineering mob that I'm friends with and uh, see what they can do for me. Um, I'm pretty sure they've got the milling machine that'll be able to mill that tab off. So yeah, we might go and get those guys to, uh, to do that for me. Take a bit of cash to them. Alright, we'll be back. Just leaving the, can the engineering works. And that lug's gone, so the whole thing rotates. We'll demo that in a minute. But you can see from here, it all rotates nicely. Alright, now to talk to the canvas guy across the road. Alright, so we're back home now, and um, this is what we did. So in this section here, you'll notice this tab's missing. So now the whole thing can free rotate. Should be good, so when I get my proper hitch, I'll bolt that straight on, no more problems. All the lunette rings on the trailer's iron will swivel and the hitches will be fixed. No more problems with trailers tipping cars over. So, let's get this put back on. I think I'm going to have to wire brush the studs now, but uh, not too hard to do. Alright, we have a swiveling lunette ring. Nifty. I need to put a bit of grease in here too. Um, at least for the short term, what we can do is just give it a bit of, bit of WD just to help reduce the wear a little bit. Alright, cool bananas. Now we just wait for the other hitch to arrive. So we're back inside uh, having waited a couple of days and some things have showed up one of which is a new blind spot mirror because if I'm going to reverse a 5.3 meter trailer I'm going to need to see where I'm backing up and if I'm going to tow that trailer with a swiveling lunette ring I probably need a fixed hitch now this one's a pintle ball hitch um, which means you can release the pintle side of it so the this little lug that locks the pintle ring in which is very tight and finger smashing um, you can lock it in the up position and tow things on the tow ball if you wish, or we can lock it down with a lunette ring. Um, and a nice easy to use safety pin here, which we can drop in as well. I like that idea much better. Um, this in itself weighs about 15 kilo. It's a solid hunk of steel. They did include some Chinese bolts here. Um, I think they're rated high tensile bolts, but we might be using the ones that are already on the Rover. So these have got six marks on the top. Oh, I think they might be grade eight or 8.8. .8. I'm not sure. Um, they're black steel, but that, I'm not sure if that's, that might be Japanese actually, not Chinese. The Japanese I'd be all right, but Chinese I'd be a little worried. Um, but anyway, either way, I will find some suitably rated bolts to fit this, but that should help. It means now we will have one of these on the Jeep, one on the Rover. We can take both trailers, We'll be cooking with gas. Oh, these are going to take some strength. All right. 
right, breaker bar it is. Jeez. Oh, that got it. Bloody nylocks. <sighs> All right, nylock nuts on the back. Yay.
All right, aside from the shadow, you can probably see we now have our pintle ball on. It's good. It should snap down nicely. All right, it's good. For the record, this is the old one, which actually weighs even more. Can't hold it up on the end of my arm like that. So this is probably slightly flimsier than what I had on here, actually. Um, but yeah, this one has a swivel on it. Um, I'm actually interested what the printing is on the side now that I can see it. Um, looks like B. Dixon Bait Chester. So, that's a U, British made. Alright, I'm exhausted. Now we didn't use these original bolts because one of these were bent and they were a bit slack. And also they protruded too far through. These bolts are the mystery bolts that came with it, but I assume they're right. I've got two of the spring washers in, the other two drop down inside the cavity, but at least I'll notice a bit of rattling before it completely comes loose. So yeah, alright, um, we're done for that bit. Now I had a chat to the trailer guys, they said they're just waiting on the um, humidity to uh, to come down so they can do the painting. So uh, it shouldn't be too long, we'll have the trailer for the Argo. One other thing I want to know before I go too fur further, uh, too much further. This little groove here that's here that I've never bothered to fix, that was made by the top of this hitch here when the tailgate's down. So I want to see what happens when we take the tailgate down but if I can do this holding the camera in one hand <laughs> see what the clearance is like on this ah we have clearance alrighty then so we're good no more crushing the tailgate on the tow hitch awesome so that's good news unless of course I've got it locked in the up position in which case I should probably not do that but given the shape of this if we push down on it it'll probably just latch it shut so actually that's not such a bad idea I like that um, it'll probably stay open if I pin it open so note to say note to self with tow ball on don't open tailgate if I put that pin in yeah I won't come down with the pin in there so anyway that's good I'm happy, I can take a break, and for the record this was 18mm on the outside and it was I think 3 quarter inch on the inside, only in the UK from Land Rover, or Jaguar Rover Australia I think had these guys in commission for the army, I will have to look that up though. Anyway, I should probably put these lock pins in for these guys too, and um, so I don't lose them. Kind of need those pins well, especially if for whatever reason this new hitch rattles off though it's done up to 320 newton meters of torque at least that's what that thing says on the box all right now i've got to wind the wheel up because so i've got a winch under here that's the thing you saw me winding on the side there's the winch for that while i've got it down i'm going to give it a spray with some wd and just try and give it a general lubricate so we'll be back in a moment